How's it going, folks? So I'm wrapping up the final bit of testing for the Apple Watch Series 4 review, which should be out in about a week or two, but I do have enough data that I wanted to talk about the altimeter on the Apple Watch Series 4 and how it compares to competing devices, including the Suunto 9, the Polar Vantage V, a couple of Garmin Edge units, as well as a Phoenix 5 Plus. But we are also going to compare this to the corrected elevation figures in Strava. Now, I've been doing some extensive testing on the Apple Watch Series 4, and I actually already did a collaboration video along with Shane Miller, aka GP Llama, over on his channel, where we looked at the differences in the GPS tracks of the native workout app versus the Strava app and how they can differ. And it's pretty interesting to see the results, so pop over on his channel to check out that video, but also make sure to check out the rest of his content where he talks a lot about indoor bike trainers and training, including Zwift. Now, if you aren't familiar with elevation correction in Strava, it's basically a way for you to ask Strava to correct elevation in case the elevation data that was collected in your device is wildly off, which definitely can happen from time to time. Now, I'm not saying that Strava's elevation is completely accurate by any means, but it does kind of even the playing field just because they're correcting the elevation based on the data that they've collected. For instance, here's a ride that my buddy and I did. So there's only a third of a mile difference in our distance, but you will see here that my Phoenix 5 Plus recorded 1,768 feet of elevation gain, where my friend's Phoenix 5X Plus recorded 1,831. And that's only a difference of 53 feet, which is not bad. However, when we both did the elevation correction in Strava, the elevation figure was just within two feet of one another. So for all these examples that I am going to be showing here, I was using the Apple Watch Series 4 in standalone mode just to make sure that it was using all its own hardware to collect its data. This first example is actually on the same trail I used to test the GPS tracks for the video over on Shane's channel. And it's a fast and flowy mountain bike trail with a pretty average amount of climbing with the Apple Watch Series 4 clocking 1519 feet of elevation gain and then the Garmin devices being a little bit lower. However, if we look at the corrected elevation figure, the Apple Watch actually is the closest to Strava only being off by 62 feet. That's not bad. Now, here's another test done with the Phoenix 5 Plus and the Polar Vantage V. And again, we see very close figures between all three devices. And again, quite close to the corrected elevation figure in Strava, only being off by about 100 feet. On this test, which has a lot more elevation gain, it did vary a bit more here compared to the Edge 520 Plus as well as the Suunto 9, where those devices came closer to the corrected elevation figure. However, then let's take a look at this example where it was extremely close to three other test devices as well as the Strava corrected elevation figure. So those were all tests while mountain biking, but here's a road ride that I did where we went up a canyon and we still see some pretty good results. But as you can see, the Suunto 9 produced the most accurate elevation. So for my testing, the altimeter on the Apple Watch Series 4 seems to be pretty darn solid, but what's especially impressive is how it compares to other watches and bike computers that are more well known for being more serious sports devices. We still have to deal with the less than ideal usability as well as less than ideal battery life, but the rest of the hardware that they're putting inside the Apple Watch Series 4 is continuing to impress. Anyhow, this was just a preview of some of the detail that I'll have in the Apple Watch Series 4 final review. So make sure to subscribe to get a notification when that video comes out. And if you like this video, it would be oh so awesome if you smash that like button down below and look for a lot of really fun videos that are coming soon and have a great day.